Hi, Dr. Paul Hader here. You know, just now I was watching some birds outside and they were jumping on one of the banana trees and picking out some of the old leaves and tearing apart a little bit of the leaf to take it off to build a nest. And uh, we see that happen all the time. And, you know, even though some days it's raining and some days it's a little windy and the other days it's really hot, uh, they still keep doing what they need to do every single day. And it's just the opposite of what we do sometimes. Sometimes things are not they're great for us and all of a sudden, you know, we, we kind of go crazy and uh, we mull things over in our minds and we keep stuck, keep our minds stuck on all this worry and uh, keep our mind uh, just full of all the negative things as it has been talked about many times, you know, whatever we hold in mind, you know, we attract to us. So what about holding in mind that which is dear to us? You know, our family, the loved ones, uh, peace and love and caring. You know, if we watch the news all the time and we see the death and destruction, you know, if we keep that in our mind, we you know, propagate that kind of thing because, you know, this energy, the, this force in our mind just kind of expands. And um, it's important that we allow that electromagnetic spectrum to have a different vibration. Now, I even catch myself once in a while and I was, oh, I need to go back to, you know, peace and love and caring and and I allow all the avatars to come to me and in me and allow that peace to dwell there in my heart. And I think that's really important, you know. They, they came with a mission, all of them. You know, Jesus, Buddha, Muhammad, Krishna, all, all of them came to teach about peace, teach about love, teach about caring, every single one of them. And love was the center host of all of these avatars that came on one over time and they were all teaching about loving everyone else and loving the one we see in the mirror you know if we're full of anxiety how can we love anybody else or if we're full of anger how can we love anybody else but if we're full of fear how can we love anybody else so it's about first of all healing the one we see in the mirror so that we can allow ourselves to help heal other people by being full of love. And when we are full of love, you know, you ever seen somebody walk into a room where it's full of amazing love and the room kind of lights up and everybody's happy to see them and they're, they're, there's just kind of like joy spread throughout the, the whole, you know, group that's there. Now, my wife's mother, she's 92, and she's one of those people, you know, she's always happy, she's always laughing, she's always excited to see other people. She's always cooking for other people also. <laughs> Another reason why they're happy to see her. But she's always, you know, they have nothing. They have very little, and they, uh, but they give you know, are always cooking for other people, are always helping other people. They're babysitting for the neighbors, you know, helping the lady across the street. They're always happy to do so. And I think that uh, joy, that happiness, uh, I think that love inside of her has kept her going for so long. She, like I said, she just had her 92nd birthday, and she's still trucking. Still doing good, still walking, still, you know, getting around and helping whenever she can. And if we have that much love, we have that much desire to help other people, I think that's what it's all about. And said in many spiritual texts also, if we can bring a little laughter into somebody else's life, we're sure to place in heaven. I think that's also true. If we can help somebody enjoy a little laugh, enjoy laughing in general. You know, if we start to laugh, other people start to laugh and or we have tell them a joke or tell them something funny that happened the other day or whatever. 
I think that's very important. Because life seems to be too serious, especially lately. But we need to dwell on that which is uplifting, joyful, and peaceful. At the same time, happy and, uh, and a lot of fun. And if we center our lives around those things, everything will be perfect. I love you.